the fuck? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Julia and this is some TV shows to watch during quarantine. The first TV show I have is Rain and it's a historical romance drama about the reign of Queen Mary of Scotland and her journey through love and rule starting when she moves to French court to get married. And there are a bunch of twists and turns in this TV show and it's super dramatic. And her character develops a lot and we see her grow throughout the three seasons of this TV show. And you can learn some historical facts about Europe in the 1500s as well. Okay, the second show I have is Grey's Anatomy. It's a medical show about the journey of surgeons, of a bunch of surgeons starting at internship, and it includes some drama and romance as well, and you can learn some medical stuff while watching the show. And if you can't stay on the side of blood, don't watch it. And it took, and, and, I say and way too much, okay. And it took me a year to finish, and it has an end. It has 16 seasons. The next show is Jane the Virgin. It's about a girl who's a virgin and is artificially inseminated on accident, and it's about her family drama and love life. And it also has some. And it also has some murder and mystery involved, but it's not scary. And it's categories under comedy slash comedy drama slash telenovela. And it's, narrated, and it's narrated differently than any other TV show I've watched. And it has five seasons. The next TV show is Once Upon a Time. It's about a town called Storybrooke, where all the residents are characters from fairy tales, but they're cursed into this world into thinking that fairy tales aren't real. And they break curses together and stuff. And it's not as childish as it sounds. It's like one of my favorite TV shows. And it has seven seasons. The next show is Criminal Minds, and it's about a group of detectives who solve um, a mystery each episode, most likely a murder one. Because it has a different case each episode, it's not super addicting, and it's just a good TV show. Even though it's like a murder, it's not like super scary or graphic, and you can learn some cool detectiving stuff while watching the show. And it has 15 seasons. The next show is Jessie classic comedy, I'm sure you've heard of it, and it's about a woman named Jessie who moves to New York to pursue her acting dreams, but instead becomes the nanny of four kids. And it just never gets old, it's just fun, family, comedy, kind of drama thing. The next show that kind of matches the same energy is Little Maddie, and it's also like a family comedy drama, and it's about two twins in high school who are played by the same actress, Dove Cameron, and their family and school life, and it's just another classic that never gets old. Jessie has four seasons and so does Luke Maddie. Alexa and Katie is kind of one of these newer family comedy shows, and it's about a freshman girl named Alexa who faces cancer with her best friend Katie and their life throughout high school, and it has four parts, freshman, a uh, sophomore, junior, and senior year, and it's just fun. The next show is HBO or Just Have Water, and it's about three girls who become mermaids and face everyday problems as well as their mermaid dilemmas, and it's a teen comedy adventure drama. And me and my sister were totally obsessed with this TV show a few years ago, and I've watched it like a couple times since. And H2O has three seasons. Okay, so these last three shows are Asian dramas. So if you're into that, then keep watching. So the first one is House of Detective, and it's a Chinese drama about a woman who joins the detective force and how they solve mysteries, as well as her home and love life. And while they do solve mysteries, it's also like a comedy thing and it's not scary either. Housewife Detective has 41 episodes, and it's one of my favorite Asian dramas. Okay, um, the next one is Princess Wei Yang, and it's an ancient Chinese drama replicating the time period in the Tang Dynasty, and it's about the dramatic rivalries and star-crossed love. It is the most dramatic 
TV show I've ever watched. The characters are so hardcore. <laughs> and it's just so good, y'all. You should... Y'all? Did you say y'all? And Princess Wei Yang has 54 episodes. And you will be on the edge of your seat while watching this TV show. Okay, the last TV show I have is Ode to Joy. And it's about people in their 20s who face real problems in the business, in the big business city of Shanghai, China. And it's about their money issues, jobs, drama, and love. And it's just a good TV show, a solid TV show. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe.